What we typically see in systems are two sources of noise, one being friction and one being resonance. In order to mitigate resonance in a system, what we do is we want to take the system out of a natural frequency. This can be in part to the lead screw and the nut, or it can be another part of the assembly that's causing this resonance. One way of mitigating noise from resonance is by changing the lead of the lead screw itself. You'll keep the linear motion profile the same, however you are changing the rotational speed of the lead screw. By changing the rotational uh, speed of the lead screw, you're changing the frequency of the system in itself and potentially pulling it out of resonance. In the case of slip stick, uh, which is our other source of noise, we can um, also change the lead. However, um, there's a couple other options with that as well. One would be to change the nut material. In changing the nut material, you want to focus on making sure that the nut material has a low difference between your static and dynamic coefficient of friction. Most times when you're designing a lead screw nut assembly, you want to go with a low dynamic coefficient of friction. Now, in the case that you are seeing noise, you want to make sure that the material that you're using does have the smallest gap possible between the static and the dynamic coefficient of friction. We can also do something along the lines of adding a wet or dry lubricant. Um, example of a wet lubricant would be an HSS grease uh, that we apply between the lead screw and the nut assembly, um, which can help change the dynamic properties of the system. Uh, in another case, what we can do is we can add a dry lubricant, also known in our case as Kirkcoat or black ice. Which one you choose is entirely dependent on your system and environmental conditions that you're running in. Uh, what we have is a patented centralizer design here, uh, which stays within the confines of a standard screw and nut assembly. It's a turn down section within the nut that an O-ring and a clip ring sit in. The clip ring rides on the um, O-ring inside the nut and on the OD of the lead screw. Being a rubber-like material, the O-ring dampens a lot of the vibration between the lead screw and the nut, thus reducing noise. Um, and that is another method that you can also put in the beginning of the design cycle if you're worried specifically about a lot of vibration type components or some things that um, need to be a little bit more free that might cause vibration within your system.